I want to talk to you about ways that you can stay safe when you're using technology and going online. So first of all, how do you go online? Do you use a computer? Maybe you have a laptop or a gaming system or a tablet, or maybe you use your parent's cell phone while you're sitting in the carpool lane. Let's make this simple and stick with your ABCs. What's the first letter of the alphabet? A. A means ask. If you're using a computer and you feel bad or sad about something on it, how a person treats you, or if you aren't sure about a website, ask a grown-up for help. So how do you know if a website is good or not? You need to listen to your gut. If you're looking around to see if anyone is watching, it's probably a website you shouldn't be on. Imagine a parent or your teacher is standing right next to you. Would you still be on that website? Most of the time, you know the difference between right and wrong. Have you ever had your teacher just look at you in class and you knew exactly what you needed to stop doing? My students used to call that the teacher look. And it was that look that said, I know what you're doing wrong. You know what you're doing wrong. We don't need to talk about it and you can just fix it. So what comes after A? B. B is for bully. And first I want to explain the difference between someone who is bossy and someone who is a bully. I had an amazing kindergarten teacher. Her name was Mrs. McDonald and yes, she did live on a farm. And I knew back then already that I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. The problem with that is on the playground, I thought I had the best ideas of what we should play because I was going to be a teacher. Did I do that to be mean? No, I was just bossy and my friends had to point it out to me. A bully is someone who is mean on purpose. A cyber bully is someone who is mean on purpose, but does it online. They use the internet and you might not even know their name. And here's the thing about bullies. Bullies are everywhere. Even grown-ups have to deal with bullies. And me going out and talking at all the schools isn't going to make the bullying go away. So let's talk about what to do if you're bullied. We're going to the next letter, C. C is for control. A lot of times the bullies just want to have control over you. That's their way of being mean. They may only want you to play what they want or just play with them and no one else. They may tease you and try to get you upset by making a comment. It's kind of like fishing. They throw out the bait and hope that you'll take it. I have younger brothers, and when we were little, I remember we were playing in the backyard, and my brothers picked something up and they put it right in my face. Do you know what it was? It was a big, creepy bug. And you know what I did? Well, if I ran away, then they would have chased after me with that bug. And they were faster than me. So would that have gotten me away from the bug? No. And they would have realized that it bothered me and they would keep doing it. So I smiled, I looked at the bug, and I said, it's so cute, let's name it Henry. And my brother said, what? They were confused. They thought I would scream and run away. Because I didn't react, they let the bug go and they never put a bug in my face again. So one tip for dealing with bullies is don't let them know you're upset. And I know that can be hard. Another thing is to walk away. If you're on a playground and someone is being mean to you, walk away from them. If they follow, walk towards an adult or walk towards a teacher. My guess is they're going to stop being mean as soon as they see that you're near an adult. And if they do continue, that adult hopefully will take care of it for you by talking to the student about it. One of my favorite tips for dealing with a bully is to compliment them. Sometimes a bully doesn't feel very good about themselves and that's why they tease others. So if you can compliment them and make them feel better, it makes it harder for them to say mean things. Let's see if you've got the right ideas. Imagine your parents gave you a tablet to use once your homework and chores are done. So one day, when you're playing a game, a weird picture comes up on the screen. Do you, one, try to fix it yourself and try to get rid of the picture, or two, ask your parents or an older family member for help? One, 
or two. Hopefully you said two. Ask your parents or an older family member for help. Let's try one more. This time you're playing your favorite game and a mean message pops up on the screen. Do you one, ask your parents or an older family member for help, or two, ignore the message and keep playing the game? One, ask your parents for help. It's always good to check with them when something comes up on the screen that isn't as it normally should be. Remember, the rules are there to keep you safe. Parents and teachers don't just make up rules for fun because we have to enforce all of them. We have to make sure you follow them. They're there to keep you safe and happy.